Welcome to a new episode of Ausfahrt TV in English. And I'm telling you, it's pretty hard to stand here, even if it is beautiful in Portugal, but all my colleagues, they're taking this baby on the road right now. They're drifting, they're circling, they're cornering through Portugal. And I'm standing here to show you the car from the exterior and the interior. I will give you a little insight on my driving experience as well. But if you want to see this baby drifting on track, you better watch Chris Harris because he was here too. And I was able to shake his hand. Oh my God. However, the 204, the previous version of the Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG was the most successful model for AMG so far. But with the um, GT and now the C63, they are doing uh, renaming. They are placing AMG as a sub-brand of Mercedes. So it's now it's not Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG anymore, but Mercedes AMG C63. And I'm presenting you today the S model even, so the more powerful version of the C63. Uh, we have competitors, of course. Uh, in Germany, we have the Audi RS4, even this is just as an E-State version, and of course, the BMW M3. In Germany, the sedan will be available by the ending of February, and the E-State version of the C63 will be available in April 2015. Under the hood, we find the new developed 4-liter V8 B-Turbo engine that is really close to the one that we know from the Mercedes-AMG GT already, and the Regular version, the C63, comes with 476 horsepower and has a maximum torque of 650 newton meters. I, however, have the stronger version, the S model, and this V8 has 510 horsepower and is good for maximum torque of 700 newton meters. And you have them between 1750 and 4500 RPM. All the power of this engine goes back to the rear, to the rear axis, and we are not having any formatic or any all-wheel drive. And I don't think that Mercedes-AMG will offer all-wheel drive for the C63. However, we have a fine uh, automatic transmission. It's the AMG Speedshift 7-gear automatic transmission. Let's have a look at the front of the C63S model. We have a hood made of alloy with beautiful, as I, at least I think so, with beautiful power domes. And I think they don't only look good from the outside, but especially when you drive from the inside because you see the shape while driving. Uh, the whole hood is pushed a little bit more down to give the car a more aggressive look than the regular C model, C class model. And um, we have this typical front A wing design from AMG. Here with the S model, the A wing is in glossy black, while with a model without S, it's just in the paint of the car. We have Ich glaube, das mache ich komplett nochmal. Das war nämlich ganz schön falsch und scheiße. Well, someone has to do the job, so here I am showing you the exterior, starting with the front. We have a hood made of alloy with two power domes, and I really like them. I really do, not even from the outside, they are, they are great and all that from the outside, but I like them while driving. You see them while you drive, and I think that's pretty sexy. Optically, the hood is pushed a little bit more down into the single, uh, the double blade, I'm sorry, the double blade grille with the AMG badge right here. And the whole front bumper is shaped in a more sporty, more aggressive way than the regular C-Class. And Mercedes AMG is calling this the A-Wing concept with this large air intakes framed in glossy black paint with a, with a regular model. It's just in the color of the car and the front splitter. 
However, this is just a C-class, so we benefit from all the details that we know from the regular C-class. And here we have the full LED uh, light system that works just with charm. I've been on the road yesterday in the dark and it's giving you a good light. The whole front of the C63 is 54 millimeters, so 5 centimeters longer than the regular C-Class version. I think they need a little bit more of space for the engine. Uh, the fenders, however, stand out 14 millimeters wider than the regular model. And here we have the V8 B turbo batch that we all know and I like how they put it in here with this uh, little dent. Uh, the regular the C63 stands on 18 inch alloy wheels and has black brakes while the S model comes with 19 inch by factory and has this red color in here which I like a little bit more. And of course you can order as an option the high performance carbon ceramic brake as well. Aside that, the side view does not differ too much from the regular C-Class. The side skirts are not that massive, but for the S model at least we have this uh, silver inlays right here. And what I like uh, is the privacy coloring in the back windows. Well, that's the part most people will see from the C63 AMG as the back, of course. We have this little tiny spoiler right here that is very small but has big effect when you drive faster than 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers per hour. On the left side the AMG badge, on the right side the C63 badge with the S for our model in black. We have of course full LED backlights and here is my favorite part, the exit system with the four pipes. This is not the most aggressive one. We have the one in chrome, that's a um, factory setting, and you can order another one that is in black, then it's even a little bit louder and has like three flaps inside. And overall, we have the diffuser on the back with the three fins, giving you a better performance on the street. All right, let's hop inside and I will show you around the beautiful interior. Okay, I'm trying not to get too excited, but I feel like I'm melting in the car, with the car. I'm just getting a unit with the car. I love the interior. We have such premium materials all over. We have leather in the doors, for instance. We have this glossy paint right here, which I don't like too much because you see the fingerprints and the dust really quick, but in this whole setup with the black leather and black soft touch and this brushed alloy uh, it's giving me yeah it's just I, I can't put it in words I like it a lot I think it looks really really nice uh, besides that I don't think that the C-Class and especially the C63 looks spacious inside it rather feels compact even so I have enough um, head space and I have enough space to the passenger side, it still is a compact feeling that I don't think is bad. It's just uh, a good feeling. Like I have, I'm a unit with a car. That's, that's most likely what I think. However, um, we have seat belts and even bigger guys than I am, and I'm already getting bigger and bigger every clip, can buckle up with ease, I guess. And uh, I think it's neat to have those silver seat belts, even so I would prefer red ones. And you can adjust the height of the seat belts on your shoulder as well. Those sport seats are not only really cool for driving on track, but they're comfortable as well. Of course, you can adjust them electrically here at the door panel. You can heat them in three intensities. intensities. And you can even adjust the um, side support down here on the seat cushion as well as on your back. And um, it was easy for me to find a good sitting position. 
The steering wheel, you can adjust it electrically as well. I would love to have it come up a little bit more towards my body because I like it really close to my body. Um, and it's pretty slow when you use the electric function. Um, however, it's coated with leather. Leather on top, by the way, we have a 12 o'clock thing here, white stripe or silver stripe. I like the Alcantara stuff on the sides where you have uh, your hands whenever you steer, especially on track while I was driving on track. I had this uh, German race driver in front of me guiding me around the course and I was like really have sweaty hands and I was happy to have this Alcantara. It has a flat bottom and you, as you know from Mercedes, you have the buttons on the left side to control the, um, the board computer and on the right side everything for the infotainment system. Uh, by the way, the shifting pedals are made of alloy in the S version of the C63. Yeah, that's alloy. I like it. Um, looking around, looking in the rear mirrors on the left side, on the right side, the mirrors are not too big, but still I see enough and I see how the back stands out a little bit, uh, the fenders in the back. I like that. By the way, I really, I mentioned it already, but I like the view on the top where you see the, the uh, power domes. Um, in the rear mirror, you see the full rear window, so you see everything you need. Turning your head around, the B pillar is not too big. It's a good view. And over this shoulder, the C pillar is not too big either. I think it's a good view around. But as well, you can order a rear camera or even a 360 degree camera for the C63 as well. Um, I like that I have a head up display in here that was introduced with the new C class. Uh, for the AMG version, I have a second view. It's just a bar where you see the RPM uh, as a scale and your current speed while you still have the regular uh, view with a speed, the speed limit if you have the camera and <coughs> the direction from the navigation system. Looking behind the steering wheel, we see the two round gauges, the uh, speedometer to 320 uh, kilometers per hour. Once you get rid of the limit uh, of 250 kilometers per hour, the car goes up to 290 kilometers per hour. So, you know, going down the hill with the wind from the back, you might even get the 300. On the right side, we have the RPM meter going to 8,000 RPMs and the red uh, the range starts at 7,000. And I like both coaches have a, a circle in red around them. So it just looks neat. Uh, below you see the um, gauges for the fuel and the temperature and in between, even with the size of a iPhone 6 Plus, you have the display of the board computer with uh, special AMG functions as well. I know a lot of people hate this freestanding display, this floating display, how uh, Mercedes says it. Um, I like it. I, I think it's cool. 8.2 inch big, 8.4, 8.2, I don't know. Um, it has a sharp picture and it's my favorite navigation system. Mercedes has my favorite navigation system. I like how they um, did the maps. I think it's really neat. And all the other stuff that you can scroll through is uh, animated in a really neat way. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we do have Ambilight in here. We have three different colors to choose from. Uh, uh, something between yellow and orange, a blue and a white. And you see it here in the door panels as well uh, as uh, at your feet and inside this box right here. And of course in the door panels of the back as well. Well, that's it. So just a quick walk through, through all the compartments and the door panels. We have space for, I think, a liter bottle. This is half a liter, but there's still some space. And behind, we still have a lot of space for everything else. Under this little um, door with the AMG logo, 
we have a cup holder this bottle fits in here as well and i think even a big starbucks cup will fit in there just well we have this little nopsis here to uh, give all the different sizes a good hold we have a 12 volt outlet and everything is coated even in the door panel with the material so your things don't scoot around if you're not drinking too much while you're driving you can remove this and have a uh, bigger storage for your purse maybe or whatever one push button and under the armrest we have another compartment it's not too huge but still a lot of thing might fit in there and we have uh, two usb plugs and an sd card reader in the room right here we have a net which i kind of like because for smaller things you can place them in here and the gloves department I don't like at all. It looks like it's not opening wide enough and it's not really big either. So let's just forget about it real quick. We have, of course, sun, sun shades on both sides with a makeup mirror included. It's illuminated with an LED light. And here you have a little clip for tickets. We have... Um, a compartment for your shades, your sunglasses, whatever. And we have reading lights for the driver and the uh, passenger. The light is right here under the rear mirror. And of course, a big light, a big entry light with five LEDs. And we have door handles on all four doors. But that's pretty much it. Let's have a look in the rear. Well, we have four doors, so let's see how much space there is in the back. Well, at least the door opens wide and I can slip inside just well and close the door easily. Well, I'm 5'11", I put the driver's seat in my position and with my 5'11", 180 centimeters, I can sit here very comfortable. Uh, I have a little bit problems putting my, foot, uh, my, my feet under the sports seats, but space for my legs i have plenty not so much for my head so people who are much taller than i might have problems sitting here in the back i'm a little bit disappointed about the seats in the rear i would uh, have expected that they would be much more formed out so that i have more side support in the back as well but it's just it's not you you hardly have side support it's not too bad but yeah, I would have expected something different. Besides that, we have leather here and there as well and brushed alloy. That's pretty neat. In the door panels, I have space for my bottle again or again for another liter bottle and another compartment back there. But the surface of this compartment is not like in the front uh, that prevents things from shaking. In the middle, I have an own climate control for the rear. So we have a three zone uh, um, AC. And um, below, there's a little compartment. Good for nothing, I think. Not even my iPhone fits in there. Too bad. Um, I have a middle armrest, of course. And in there is another compartment. Good for a Game Boy or something. But no power, no power in the back, no 12 volt outlet, no USB. And here we have another cup holder or rather two cup holders included in the armrest. Coming to family issues, we have Isofix hooks here. The uh, locks of the safety belts are stiff so even kids can buckle up with ease and what about the length of the belts they're silver here in the back as well wow they're long they're really long so no problems buckling up child seats or baby things um we have panels i told you already on all four doors in here we have a reading light and a little hook for your jacket. Power steered windows go down all the way, but we have a little triangle that sticks here. 
and if i hold my hand out here yeah there's a protection as well so the kids are safe that's not too much from the rear row but enough to um, give you a first insight and i think I can sit here even for a longer drive, at least if the guy is not driving in Sport Plus and the suspension is getting too hard. Last but not least, let's have a look at the trunk. You have space for 435 liters of luggage. That doesn't sound too much, but look, it's shaped in a way that really a lot of stuff fits in there. For instance, my tripod case fits in there with ease. And I have two suitcases with me because I was on a four day trip from Norway to Portugal, by the way. And all this fits in here. You can load up to 450 kilograms in the trunk. Besides that, there's not much in the trunk. I have a little net on the left side for the emergency kit. I can lift the bottom of the trunk and there's a little storage facility as well. But that's pretty much it. We have a light on the right side and the warning triangle right here in the bonnet of the trunk. So that's it. Not too excited, but overall, hey, it's a C63, huh? Right? So I will load the stuff up now. I have no idea if you can place any weight on the roof, but I'm sure you can pull any trailers with this AMG. Let's sum up my driving experience with the Mercedes AMG C63. I am pretty much amazed. This car is just fun, fun, fun. But quite honest, same line. I wouldn't want it as a daily driver. For me, the suspension in comfort is way too stiff. It's too uncomfortable for me. <coughs> Besides all the power <coughs> in the city limits, you just, you know, you, you just kiss the throttle and you're going from 50 to 80. And that's just, uh, you have to focus and concentrate really on driving. Uh, on the other hand, this car is just phenomenal to drive. The steering is very direct. Uh, let me just quickly say we have different driving modes we have individual we have comfort sport sport plus and for the s model we even have race and depending on this you have different uh, parameters you can change for the steering for the suspension for the transmission and um, so the steering in comfort is already fine and direct. Put it in Sport Plus, it's just awesome. Perfect feedback. It just works awesome. Um, the exit system in comfort is already pretty loud. So if you're uh, living in a silent neighborhood, your neighbors will hate you. Once you put the car in Sport Plus, uh, the, <laughs> the exit system does this once you accelerate it gets really loud it is a loud car it's supposed to be loud but on the other hand um well oh, fun um on the other hand i wouldn't mind having it um even a little bit more silent so all together um as I say, if you want a driving machine, if you're an experienced driver and you want to go on track every once in a while, and I've been on track with this model here, you can have a hell of fun. It's just fun, it slides, it, you know, once you, you um, tip on the throttle, you get all the power you want, especially drifting in the curbs, it's just working with charm with ease we have a bunch of circles here in portugal and just leaving the circle giving a little bit more power 
being in sport plus and uh, the baby is just working fine and going through the curves and the back is coming so um, you have ESP of course you have three different modes on off and um, sport once you put it in race you get the ESP sport setting so um, the ESP is not doing so much anymore. Once you turn the ESP off, you better be really experienced because the back is waving in all directions if you give too much power. Um, overall, I like the car. It's, it's great. It's really great. Um, I've talked to an older couple while I was filming my review and I said something I would like to repeat. I don't want to buy this one but I would want my friend to have one and I can borrow it every once in a while. For me personally, it's just too much, but uh, I wouldn't mind to have this car in reach at least. Let me go quickly through all the, such the stuff. Steering, just perfect, awesome. Braking, uh, I don't even have the carbon ceramic brakes on here. I think it's the first AMG I'm driving without them still. it's easy to uh, slow down and brake on the point to slow down the car in front of the curves just on the point where you want it and um, the shifting the, the seven speed speed shift amg transmission just works with charm even if you use the pedal it shifts right away when you use the pedal it's just perfect uh, the whole engine acceleration thing is just uh, just kicking ass that's just phenomenal especially uh, in connection with a sport exit system it's just really gives you shivers and it's just fun I'm, I'm concentrated on talking and driving uh, otherwise I'd be smiling all the time what else we got? Suspension. Well, as I said, um, comfort is already pretty sporty and stiff. Once you put it in Sport Plus, it's like really hard on the road. You feel every little stone that is on the pavement. Um, but on track, it feels just right. So overall, the car is made for track and you're allowed to drive it on legal streets as well. That would be my sum up for this beautiful Mercedes. AMG C633 AMG C63 AMG. Now it's just a perfect car for the track. You will love it on track and uh, you're even allowed to drive it on the streets. That's my sum up. I'm done with my review and I want to sum up the C63S, the brutal driving machine which provides a hell of a driving fun especially on track this beast is just fun 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 on the regular streets i don't know it's too powerful for my taste and the suspension even in comfort would be too stiff too uncomfortable for me for my old back but you're younger and you probably like this stuff the sound is just awesome just driving this beast is is pure pleasure even here with speeds limit in portugal well, I hope you got along with my strong accent. They call me Mr. Z, that's me. And still, if you like my review, please give me a thumb up. If you have any question, put them below in the comments. If you haven't done so, subscribe. And if you really want to do something for me, spread this clip around. Use Twitter, Facebook or Google+. I'm saying thank you and goodbye. See you soon. 204 was the most successful Mercedes AMG model so far. It's okay. Sorry about that. No problem, I was done. Thank you. Where's the key? <laughs> yeah. Can we look at yeah, sure. You go ahead. All right, let's look inside and give you an idea name.